Hi, my name is Don Williams. I'm a councillor in Swiss, for Swiss Cottage in the London Borough Camden. I fear 40 years from now, with a policy like this, someone young will be looking at me and asking me, why has Camden Town withered away and become what it has become 40 years from now? And I, I, I will be able to tell them the moment, I actually live that moment when it happened. The, the, the licence regime intends to make life more comfortable, let's say, for the people who live in the area. Buskers aren't the reason why people can't sleep. Buskers in Camden and in Covent Garden aren't the reason why people are unsafe. They aren't the reason why there's disturbances. We have lots of licensed, fixed licensed premises, pubs, bars, restaurants, and whatever else, more than that going on. And it's a high density of that. Without buskers, it will still be a place where there is noise, where there is traffic, where there are lots of people coming out late at night and making noise, That's, and, and sometimes making trouble. That's what having a high density of licensed places, licensed place premises creates. And quite frankly, there is nothing the council can do about that, except patrol, patrol with the police. And that does help. Enforcement through patrols help. And that sort of enforcement is the same sort of enforcement that would weed out bad apples if there were bad, if there were buskers who were misbehaving themselves. Let's put it that way. No need to do, spend any money other than to patrol. I learnt while I was there that it's enforcement that matters. Not people sitting behind desks, bureaucrats, or councillors making legislation. It's, actu it's actually going out there and actually with our enforcement team and looking at the bad apples and going after the bad apples, not trying to paint everybody with the same brush. Now, when... Six months from now, they've got an election, so now they can say to their, their electorate in these wards, ah, we've done something for you. We've actually put in legislation which is going to make your life comfortable. And when is that legislation going to come into force? Believe it or not, in May 2014. The election is also in May 2014. So we'll have no idea in 2014 whether or not it has worked or not worked at the time of the election. But promises can be made and uh, a picture can be painted of how things are going to be wonderful because of this legislation. Sadly, unnecessary legislation like the busking legislation leads to criminalization of the young and of many people who aren't criminals today and who, aren't, who have no criminal tendency um, because of some capricious law which leads to people being stigmatized and criminalized. I believe also unnecessary legislation leads to people ignoring law. You get to a dangerous situation where they think, these laws are stupid. I'm going to get into the habit of ignoring them and then start ignoring other laws. And that really is, where, is quite dangerous. You should restrict laws to the essential and not to a grandiose amount where people start disrespecting the law. I don't understand why we've got to come up with policies, create a whole new bureaucracy when we've got people and we've already done joint controls in order to find out who the bad apples are. Why don't we spend the money where we can get effective solutions and stop trying to spend money on new bureaucrats inside the council who will not be on the streets and who will not be able to change what happens on the ground. They won't be able to stop the people who are actually doing bad things. It's the guys who in the joint patrol or single patrol who will be able to do something about it. And Mr. Mayor, I hope you have a good year with developing music in Camden. I'd like to go on a more positive note and say how much buskers contribute to the vibrancy of Camden, the vibrancy of London and to any big city in the world, properly organised, properly, uh, properly policed, and, and it doesn't need a huge amount of enforcement to be on uh, it. It's perfectly safe and perfectly, as, as any other activity in a big city, and perfectly viable. And I can only wish that it will find a way for it to continue. I've just heard that people may take it to court, they may, take, may, may do a review of it, 
and uh, uh, they, they can count on my support in that for sure as I was one of those who voted against it and spoke against this what, what I call a draconian piece of legislation which can only end up hurting Camden and hurting London.